Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today let's go watch a game between Kaiser Chiefs and Sundowns. Now listen, I've been trying to get into the stadium for the past two hours. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so the game starts at half past seven and right now it's seven o'clock, meaning that I still have 30 minutes to walk in for the first time I'm on time. For the first time, you know, I'm, I'm able to get into the stadium before the game begins because I never, never get it. Because imagine I left home at around five and now it's seven. So um, yeah, so let's go in. After the traffic outside of the stadium, it is so smooth to walk inside. Whether you are by the VIP area or you just by the grandstands, it is so smooth. The security is very tight, very, very tight. Some of you might be wondering why is there a lot of Kaiser Chiefs branding. That's because FNB Stadium is Kaiser Chiefs home ground. So each and every team has its own home ground. So this one belongs to Kaiser Chiefs. So as I was walking through um, on the right, as you can see, there is a Dr. Keza Mutawung's board. That's basically his life journey. It shows you where he began and, you know, the number of years and where he is right now. And then on the left, there is a board on the other side. No, Miss P, that's not a board. That's a TV. Okay, sorry. Okay, there's a TV over there with a message just to welcome everybody, the P PSL and, and representatives and everybody else. So now I was getting off the lift and I was, I had arrived now at the super suite. Um, you know, these suites are so different. So each suite has got its own dressing code. And on this one, it's a bit simple, though shots are not allowed. And what else you also can't wear like revealing stuff and all of that but obviously the side you are allowed to not wear heels then on the presidential side you have to wear heels you have to wear formal and all of that so now this is when i was walking in and um there was a few people but a lot of people were still walking in because remember the traffic um, it's a bit noise. I'm not sure if I'm audible, but um, I'll try to almost just show you guys what's happening in here and not really say a lot. But I've got a lot of things that I have to tell you about my experience, um, you know, coming to the coming to the stadium, you know. So yeah, we get food also. So there's food. There's someone serving us, um, giving us water and everything. It's quite cool, actually. It's quite really cool. You guys, I look cute. At least today I'm not complaining about hair. <laughs> so yeah, let's chat later. Now let the game begin. Now listen, if you've never been to the stadium during a game, you are missing out. You have to write it down on your bucket list and make sure that you experience this once in your lifetime. Because this is amazing and it's always amazing for me. Now during half time, they serve us food. Let's see what we're having on this day. My heart is so sore. The game is at 70 minutes 48 seconds and Sundance has scored two goals. But in my own opinion, I feel like um, the first half, they were all fighting. 
and then just like they literally scored those two goals in less than 10 minutes after the second half and I feel like after the second half our guys were relaxed a bit and before they knew it now Sundowns has got two scores but I feel like Sundowns plays a very rough game like they they're very they're rough they're so rough I don't understand why there was a lot of pushing There's a, there was a lot of you know men handling here and there but um, I'm not saying this because my heart is sore I mean but my heart is sore it is really sore let me go finish the game and I'll give you guys an update after that please let it be three ah ah guys ah ah Ladies and gentlemen, we have four minutes of a short time. We have four minutes. Remember when I said emotions? Don't tell me what, 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 what? You see where there's that guy with a pink suit? Listen, now at this point, there were already two supporters that were worked out by police because they wanted to go in the field and make it physical once because no ways this was violence. This was violence. Yo, I also wanted to go, but I was too far. so much noise oh, no man no this is so wrong this is so so wrong right just listen to the noise I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna show you guys on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me, the real Miss P, because I got some really nice stuff. Um, I love this team, guys. I love this team so much. It's been three days after the game, and I honestly could not take a proper video after the game because I was just so heartbroken. I was so so heartbroken. Um, so I wanted us to also talk a little bit about the game. So the first half, our boys played well. I felt like that was a good game, first half, because first half, it was 0-0. Zero, zero. And then after the first half, hi, guys, less than 10 minutes, two goals, sundowns. You know when they scored the third one, like 3-0? I knew that was over with us. I knew it was over. But then at least we scored. But then when we scored one goal, they scored the fourth one. And they scored the fifth one. Yo, it was so heartbreaking. It was so, so heartbreaking. And that's why they say soccer will kill you. Um, but I can tell you now that um, the boys played very well on the first half. 
second half i think they also gave up because they literally stopped playing um it was it was heartbreaking but i'll tell you one thing now if it means you were never a kosi and uh, one thing i love about being a kosi fan is that you learn patience you know you learn how to be patient and because we know what our team is capable of we know we're gonna come back yes um cups many many years whatever but we, we still have the most cups so dar. well yeah guys um but on an on an on an honest um my honest opinion is that i still have hope and i know that the boys will come around and they'll give us something good very soon um guys i didn't even um put on makeup on my face or anything because i really want um my new journey I, i'll call it my new journey on on youtube because i'm now taking it very serious i want to be as raw as i can you know i want you guys to see the real me I'm not even trying, like, I'm not even trying to show you guys this and not show you that. I'm just going to be myself and I'm, I'm going to give you guys me, the real Miss P, you know. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, do expect another video very soon because, like I said, I'm taking this very seriously and I do have a lot of content that I can't wait to share with you all. So please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.